Not many made-for-TV movies boast a sky-high trajectory like High School Musical. From its humble beginnings on the Disney Channel, it went on to launch a thousand spin-offs and the careers of some of Hollywood's biggest stars. It brought musical theatre to a new generation and made it okay for other films and shows to start breaking into song. That's right, we said it. High School Musical walked so Glee could run. Shut up! So what was it about High School Musical that made it such a cultural phenomenon? If the story sounds familiar, that's because, well, it is. In fact, writer Peter Barsaconi took his cues from the OG high school musical, Grease. But Grease itself has roots in even older love stories. The forbidden love arc goes right back through Romeo and Juliet to Greek mythology. It appeals to us because most of us have been there, and it never hurts more than that first time in high school. Oh, behold the zoo animals heralding the new year. How tribal. Speaking of high school, the franchise continued a long line of on-screen portrayals of teen life. But despite using a classic format, High School Musical felt fresh because... This school is about more than just young men in baggy shorts flinging balls for touchdowns. So many movies about school focus on the popular kids and their sports teams, or more recently on the nerdy ones who desperately want to be popular. In these films, there are always cliques and school comes across as strictly segregated. Even the drama geeks and the brainiacs suddenly think that they can talk to us. Given these persistent portrayals, it's easy to see why a lot of people worry that this is what school is going to be like. High School Musical showed us that in reality, life isn't like that. As Miss Darvis says, the school is about more than sports teams and popularity. Zeke is baking. Creme brulee. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a creamy custard like filling with a caramelized surface. It's really satisfying. <laughs> Shut up, Zeke. We learned that being friends with all kinds of people and doing what makes you happy is pretty rewarding. And also that even the most popular kids can be insecure in their friendships and themselves. What if you want to try something really new and it's a total disaster and all your friends laugh at you? Boy meets girl, they fall in love. So far, so Disney, right? wrong. High School Musical may borrow some of Walt's classic smolts, but there's something missing from the lineup, and that's an evil villain. Well, well. <laughs> when we first saw the films, we thought it was Sharpay. Evaporate, tall person. But years have passed, and nowadays there are entire theories dedicated to exonerating her, even going as far as to cast Gabriella as the villain and Sharpay as a helpless victim. Ma! <laughs> See ya. The truth is, the nuance is one of the reasons we love High School Musical. There is no baddie, not really. All the characters are written with compassion and shown to be rounded. Maybe that's because I don't want to only be the basketball guy anymore. They can't handle it. That's not my problem, it's theirs. Plus, the film's target audience stands to learn a lot from Sharpay. If you own any orange, get rid of it. Unlike Gabriella and Troy, who spend each movie hopelessly miscommunicating and breaking up. Who are we trying to kid? You've got your team and now I've got mine. Because of it, Sharpay knows exactly what she wants and isn't afraid to shout about it. You will sing some other time, though. With me. Promise? And let's not forget her contributions to normalizing the tweed suit for everyday high school wear. We stand a fashion icon. Give me a beat. Time to admit it, the soundtracks to all three movies are back-to-back -back bangers. Sorry, but if you don't have worked this out on your workout playlist, we can't be friends. From euphoric ballads such as You Are The Music In Me to floor fillers like Get Your Head In The Game and catchy pop hooks like Breaking Free, there are songs from each film that we revisit time after time. Nostalgia plays a part for sure, but they're also incredibly catchy. Maybe the fact that they had writers and producers responsible for hits from Miley Cyrus, Jonas Brothers and Backstreet Boys helped. Look, all that being said, the movies weren't perfect. There was a lot of mixed messaging about how teen girls could expect to be treated in a relationship. Gabriella is not important. I'll forget about her. And about how winning was the most important thing. Congratulations, yeah. Wildcat! Oh, what about your team? We won too! Still, it laid the groundwork for more progressive high school movies. Part of why it was and continues to be so adored is because it gives the audience who grew up with it genuine issues to debate. Did you ever feel like there's this whole other person inside of you just looking for a way to come out? Not really, no. We love some of the fan theories that have popped up over the years. One Redditor thinks that High School Musical is set in an alternate timeline and that the kids live in a society without laws as a means to explain the way that rule breaking never seems to touch them. Exactly. 
And what are the rules? In absence of the movies explicitly discussing sexuality, whole hordes of people ship Ryan and Chad. Yeah! This scene where the two trade passions, Ryan stepping up to pitch in baseball, and Chad altering his position on dancing is seen as an allegory for their relationship. Audiences are still scrambling to understand the surreal moment afterwards, when the two are shown to have swapped outfits. If that's not love, then what? And don't even get us started on this Marxist reading of High School Musical 2, which uses close analysis to imply that it's a criticism of capitalism. We're obsessed. Is this some kind of joke? What happened next? Well, the rest is history. Three High School Musical films, a Broadway show, a new series, and one Sharpay spin-off later, the made-for-TV movie is now one of the most successful franchises of all time. It's catchy, it's heartfelt, and it brought musical theatre back into the mainstream, revolutionising the kind of thing an entire generation wanted to watch.